In this problem, we're told a car travels in the positive x direction on a straight and level road. For the first four seconds of its motion, the average velocity of the car is v sub average equals 6.25 meters per second. How far does the car travel in four seconds? So I always start these problems by writing down what we're given. So what are we told? So we're told for the four, uh, first four seconds, so we know the car is going to be traveling for four seconds, right? So how far does the car travel in four seconds? So we're given a time. So I like to write t equals and then the time we're given. So in this case, we're given four seconds. And then we're also told the velocity average, right? So v sub average, they just tell us right away, it's going to be 6.25 meters per second. So those are the two things that we're told. What are we trying to find? We're trying to find how far the car travels. So basically, we're trying to find a distance, right? How far something travels is a distance. So the formula we're going to use to solve this, uh, you can... Uh, find distance if you're given time and velocity through the formula distance equals velocity times time. So if you have velocity or the average velocity and you have time, you can solve for how far something travels. So you have to make sure though that your unit is aligned. So if this is in meters per second, notice our time unit is seconds and this has to be in seconds too. In this case it is, but in other cases they might not be. So make sure to convert them to the same units. So all we have to do is multiply 4 times 6.25 and we'll get how far it travels. So 4 times 6.25. If you go ahead and do this, you're going to get that it equals 25. And then keep in mind uh, the distance measurement that we're using. So the unit we're using is meters. So it's going to be 25 meters is going to be your answer. So how far the car travels in four seconds is 25 meters. So hopefully you found this useful.